Hi everybody, it's Katie from Katie's Craft Store again with a, another video for you. This one is uh, all about corsetry, so it's uh, corsets and lace is the title. And um, I thought it was about time that I actually did a journal dedicated to corsets because I do so many of my gothic and witchy and vampire ones and they all include some kind of corset along the way so if you've been following my work you'll you'll know what I'm saying so yeah about time I did one that was actually just dedicated to corsets so here it is and I'm excited to show it to you I've added a lot of uh, extra little bits and pieces and handmade uh, things with this one so uh, let me make a start and uh, show you the, the front cover so I hope everybody's doing well anyway and uh, sit back and enjoy this one. So I made these little hearts, I've just pinned them on with a little garment pin here and they have got a seam binding ribbon on them so you can attach them to gifts or hang them up or display them or leave them on the journal. But they're just little fabric hearts that I've made and they've been hand stitched. They are um, padded. And, uh, and then I've just decorated them with some uh, bits of lace and some little bits of uh, um, rose and leaf decoration here. A little dangle on this one with uh, matching sort of coloured beads, a little droplet on the end. And then this one I've decorated with some more lace and a little chiffon flower with a pearl and uh, some little dangles. As I said, you can take them off. And um, they do have seam bindings, so you can attach them. The rest of the book, I actually padded it slightly underneath and then covered it with a cream fabric. And then, actually I'll show you the back and you can see better from the back. And I've used a piece of uh, vintage lace uh, just to cover the, the, the whole of the book. So I've left the back plain because I just thought that was beautiful, so pretty. And then on the front, as you can see, this beautiful lady in her hat. And let me just undo the, this ribbon. And uh, obviously stuffed into her corset. Uh, I'm surprised she hasn't passed out, but I believe they used to in those days. They were always fainting, and I'm not surprised. Look at that. So um, anyway, trimmed it with some lace and just left it at that because I just thought that was beautiful and we open up and show you inside. So on the inside cover I've uh, just backed it with this uh, rose gold backing paper and then made this little flip out. I've just held it with a paper clip because I don't want everything to fall out and this just pulls out. A uh, little tote spot here with some of the, that rose decoration little card, these are all double sided little flip up here some more journaling cards and a little tag here and this is a little pull out also extra writing area little belly band little journaling card in there with a corset on it little clock journaling card here in that upturk and then here this little flip up decorated again and another beautiful little card and one of my handmade with love by Katie tags and that's in that little tote spot and then on the other side another little pull out with some more writing area little up tuck here with another journaling card in it another one here with another beautiful tag so you can write on all the backs of these and that just all folds up. Here I've put in one of my um, ribbon bookmarks. Again, trimmed it with this same rose uh, so that it all blends in. And it's basically, let me just take this page, a bookmark and you can place the ribbon anywhere you like while you're working in your book or writing in your book. And that just keeps your place. Then with a loop on the top. Here I've done another belly band which I've trimmed with this beautiful sort of crocheted roses and leaves 
and a large journaling card which is easy just tucked into this little uh, corner hugger up here and again trimmed with some beautiful broidery anglais, some more trim and then this little wooden peg this little dangle here is actually a little tiny hanger I don't know if you can see that the camera's picking it up but isn't that exquisite absolutely beautiful as this is the other side of the, the corner hugger as you can see and then I've done another like a little opening booklet here that you can write inside with a, a little tag to keep it closed little tiny envelope here with a little uh, piece of ephemera in there that just tucks into that little pocket another little tag here little up tuck and then a couple of uh, cards and ephemera that I've put in here and this beautiful lady here at the back piece of stationery which flips up you can write underneath And then as usual I put in my uh, note from the bookmaker which is from, uh, as I keep saying, from Jibid Neary's site. Um, I will do a, a shout out to Jibid in the comments, uh, well in the comment section below. And um, you can also write underneath. This book belongs to, there's a little area for you to put uh, your details in there. Another one of these beautiful cards little envelope that I've made with some stationery in it and a little flip up trimmed with some more broidery anglais and a little dangle that I made here and on this one is a little silver mirror a little silver hand mirror these are just exquisite, beautiful all the pages are tabbed or they have lace or, or, or seam binding ribbon or something on them just makes it a bit easy to turn the pages as well I think little corner pocket here with a little tag in it beautiful picture of a, a laced up corset here absolutely stunning little pocket here with a couple more little journaling tags in there uh, some ephemera here depicting various different types of corsetry look like torture devices to <laughs> put they used to wear them. Here another little flip up and uh, a little envelope that I've made with a a pretty journaling tag inside. That's uh, the front of the envelope. Beautiful papers. Another little tag. Some more ephemera. I think that flips up too. Yes it does. So you can write underneath there too. Belly band here I've turned into a, a writing area also which pulls out like that and then just tucks back in and then here I've put some stationery and a pretty little booklet that I've uh, handmade and hand sewn uh, with some off cuts of uh, tea dyed paper to pull out there and a little tuck spot with a little piece of ephemera in the back a pretty little booklet that just slides in there all kinds of things going on here various bits of ephemera some little tiny tags for you to write on a little flip here with a little tiny booklet again with some little offcuts for you to write on here a little uptuck with a little round um, tag this one I've turned into a, a side pocket and put another beautiful tag on this and added some seam binding to contrast and a gorgeous corset dangle. Isn't that exquisite? Here another pretty little corner pocket with a a beautiful corset tag, little writing area here, a little booklet, lots of space to write. A little moth up here with 
made with the lace and um, various different contrasting fabrics. Beautiful picture of this lady here. Actually, I don't know whether she's passed out, but <laughs> absolutely gorgeous picture. If you're into corsets and that kind of thing, then you're going to absolutely love this. I've thoroughly enjoyed making it and I've put as much love and care into to doing this and hunting out these pictures um, as I do with all of my journals. But I really felt it was just time for me to do one totally dedicated to actual corsets. And uh, I'm thrilled how it's happened and how it's turned out. Turn this into a little picture frame. Put a tag in here with a tab on so you can you can take it out and use it and put anything else you want in there really. Another little pocket here and a little tag which I've turned into a little mini booklet so there's more little pages in there. Like passwords or uh, little sentiments. That also lifts up, you can write underneath. These also flip up again right underneath. A little writing area, a fabulous corset, and on this little lace uh, dangle just some pretty little bees with a little bell on the end. This corset I've just added some uh, some very dainty lace here at the bottom, and then on the actual inside is a, a double sided little tag can be used as a, a tag for a gift or I just thought it complemented that. Two stunning ladies here uh, having an afternoon <laughs> chat. Little tiny envelope that I've made here. Inside is a little journaling card and then it's holding some ephemera on this side. Some stationery and uh, a weekly planner. At the bottom here, another one of these large tags you can write on. Another little pocket here with a mini, mini envelope that I've made with a tiny little tag in there. And that just pops in, in there with another little tag. And another corner hugger here. On this uh, little wooden peg, beads to contrast. And uh, a little shoe there on the end. And a tiny little corset here which I've trimmed with some lace. There's so much, seriously guys, in this, this journal to look at. Um, it probably would be worth going through it twice and even I've forgotten some of the things that I've put in. The little tote spot here with a little heart card you can write on the back. Another mini envelope here that I have uh, made and uh, um, placed some of this pretty uh, embroidery lace on. Some more stationery behind and I've attached this one with this pretty little wooden heart peg with a, with a little pink heart. And uh, just to contrast that, some more pretty beads and a, a little pink and green. Got a bit of a sparkle to it. This one I've turned into a large journaling card. Got fantastic imagery. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, some more ephemera here that flips up. You can write underneath and a little writing area. I've tried to leave as much writing as area as I can with this because um, I do get a bit carried away but um, there was just so much I wanted to put into this and there is a lot in this journal, a lot. Um, it's actually a, a lace pack that I used as well, paper and lace I think it's called, paper pack that I used in this too and I'll, uh, I'll put the link for that below. Um, and also the laces and the beads and the pearls that I've used in this and the little trinkets. There's a lot in this journal, a lot. Um, it's already listed in my Etsy shop if you are interested and the link for that is up here. 
Um, I'll also put the link below too. Uh, so please go and have a look at it there if you're interested. And give me a thumbs up and um, like and uh, share and please subscribe. Um, and give me your thoughts, leave me your thoughts below please. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about this one. Another pretty journaling card here. These are absolutely gorgeous. Another one here just tucked in behind this little tote spot. And then here on one of these little love seats, I'm not really sure what these are called, chaise long or whatever, I've tucked in another little uh, journaling card. And another writing area. Lots of space to write there. And this one again flips up, you can write underneath. Another beautiful image, a little journaling card held in there. And on this wooden peg, another one of the little silver corsets. Another little mini envelope, and another stunning picture, and another gorgeous journaling card behind. This pulls out on this page. Like a, a double layer, so you've got plenty of space there to write. And some more ephemera, little index card, and some more tags. Little tag here that I made with some uh, little bits of snippet, some feathers, and a pretty little bird. One of my envelope clusters here uh, that I've made and put in various little tags and things. I'm going to be doing a video in the next uh, week or so, small tutorial, to show you how to make these little envelope clusters. I have been asked a couple of times now and also how to do the corner huggers. So please stay tuned as they say and watch out for that because I will be doing a, a tutorial shortly on how to make those things. Anyway, back to the book. So I've made these little round clocks as well. You can write on the back of them, but I thought they were so pretty and just went with the, the colour theme. Another one of those little hand mirrors on that paper clip. Another one of these gorgeous envelopes and some stationery. Some more of the broidery anglais and another one of the little uh, garment hangers, a little took a spot here with some more ditty cards in and another pull out here to write on, tiny little corset here and uh, the back of that envelope, some more ephemera and this is the lady that's uh, on the front cover here in her, all her glory. <laughs> Another exquisite picture. And I love this. I thought that was absolutely stunning. More of a modern twist, I know, but I wanted to include sort of various um, points of view and themes with this. But uh, I loved that. I wanted to include it. Lots of lace petticoats and underskirts. Another little corner pocket here with another one of these beautiful cards in. You can see these. This this pack actually is absolutely beautiful, but um, they are double sided. You can still write on the back, but absolutely stunning. And a little clock. Another mini pull out here. And this one I've turned uh, into two little side pockets as well with some little cards. Some more stationery that flips up and you can write underneath. And another little booklet. They say lots of writing area in this one. Lots of envelopes, lots of little tuck spots, lots of little pull outs. And then one of my hand decorated 
um, corsets here. Oh, I'll just take this out so you can see it. And I've decorated this with some of this very dainty lace and little bows. Beautiful little flat back pearls here. Some more of the little roses detail and a little bit of lace here up at the top. And you can write on the back if you wish to or attach it to a gift. This flips up, you can write under here. Little corner pocket with a, a little tag in there. On this uh, lace, a little, one of these little lobster claw clasps, so you can take it off and hang it or attach it to something else. There's some little beads, another little writing area, another stunning picture, another one of these little wooden pegs, gorgeous little journeying card there held in with that envelope, a little tag that I've done here with uh, uh, a little mini corset on it. Some more writing area and lots of ephemera and bits and pieces to look at here. Another envelope at the back with a, a little um, piece of journaling uh, paper in there. Another gorgeous tag. And they all match in with the, the belly band and the envelope. On this one, I've actually put uh, a little mask, and I thought that was exquisite, beautiful. Another larger envelope here, and here another little fold out with some uh, writing paper, and again, flips up so you can write underneath, held in with a little tab. Little corner pocket with some more ephemera. And how tiny must her waist be? I can't even imagine what that must be. A little writing area and some more awesome pictures. Another little shoe on that um, piece of lace. Some more tags and a little envelope. Various bits of ephemera and a little tag there with some ribbon. Another one of my envelope clusters here with various tags and ephemera and another one of these little roses that I fussy cut. Another little booklet, a little index card and a, a little fun tag here. You can again write on the back that I've fussy cut. Picture turned into a belly band here with another card. Another little uh, pocket here with a tag, some ephemera and some stationery to write on. How fabulous is that? Another belly band with some um, stationery, little pocket again, more stationery and a, a journaling card from that um, the laces and corsets pack. And on this embroidery I'm going to another one of the um, corsets. And we're coming up to the back now. Some more ephemera and little envelope and another pretty a vintage corset and a little bit of stationery and a guest check here in this uh, little up I think that do you think that folds down yes it does you can write under there and then right at the back just made a little collage here with some various bits and pieces and then the same as I've done at the front I've lined this back page with some rose gold backing paper and uh, made my trifold envelope like I always do. I'll show this to you. Get the ribbon off. 
And I'll show you the back like I do first. And just show you these beautiful pictures that I've included. And it's a, a cream envelope that I've distressed and trimmed with some more of the lace that matches in the book. And then opening it up, if I can get my fingers underneath, opening it up, you can see inside everything to complement and contrast with the, the contents of the, of the book itself. There's a large journaling card in each pocket, a little tag here that I'm, I've made, a little corner pocket here with one of the little clocks, a little tuck spot with uh, another one of the little fussy cut roses and a little tag. Another large journaling card in here and as you can see I've lined the inside of all the, the pockets. Another one of these beautiful little corsets here which I've trimmed with some lace. A little pocket with some little tiny diddy cards in. Corner pocket here with a, a, a pink corset to complement the theme there. And then here at the bottom, another little pocket there with this beautiful girl, some seam binding ribbon, little belly band, some more tags here and another beautiful journaling card in this pocket. And that, everybody, is the end of the uh, trifold envelope and journal flip through. I really hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I know I have, I've really enjoyed making this. So like I said, please leave me your comments below and um, I'd love to hear from you. And give me a thumbs up and as I say, please subscribe. Have a look at my Etsy store and until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day everybody.